Last week I had the opportunity to join a call with a bunch of other developers and the Unity CEO, John Riccatello, who had something really interesting to say. Well, actually he had quite a few really interesting things to say. It seems like that happens every time you talk to him, but it's probably the side effect of him being in charge of such a big company and having so much inside knowledge and what's going on and, well, I guess decision-making power on a lot of that too. So what did we talk about? Well, I don't want to go over everything. There were a lot of questions that were discussed, a lot of topics that were discussed. I think there was a little bit of talk about the multiplayer stuff, the future stuff that's going on in Unity, what happened and was going on with Gaia, which didn't really surprise me at all. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about was um, DOTS, or the data-oriented tech stack, because it seemed like John's vision for um, how that's going to all unfold is very similar to what I've kind of expected to happen, which is rare, because usually when I like, make a prediction or a guess on something, I'm way off and completely wrong. And his prediction, and I guess my expectation of what was going to happen, is that the people who are doing the crazy stuff, pushing the bleeding edge and like really doing advanced game development stuff where they're making things that haven't been made before or weren't possible before because of the technology, that they will be adopting dots you know, full on and that they actually are. I think one of the things he said he was most excited about was the fact that so many of the new Steam releases that are in the top 20 end up being DOTS titles. They're ECS titles and they're using this new technology and he was really excited about it. He was also really excited about just the number of games that are built in Unity that are showing up in the top Steam charts now where it used to be more, they'd show up in the mobile charts but not so much in Steam. Now it's kind of a, a match. You're getting, I, th I don't remember the exact percent but it was a relatively high percent in Steam from Unity games. But again, I think he said almost half of those were dots. I, again, it could be off on my percents by quite a bit, but a good chunk of those were done in dots. And they're done by people that are, again, pushing that edge by doing new stuff and um, using the new, the new programming paradigm and making it all data-oriented. But w what he said during that conversation was that he just like I've always thought, doesn't expect everybody to instantly switch over or maybe to never switch over. There's a theoretical world where you know, mono behaviors are around forever and all of the benefits, or maybe not, maybe it's not mono behaviors, maybe it's just object-oriented game development in Unity is kind of around forever, but a lot of the benefits and the, the core speed-ups that you get from DOTS and ECS just will become a native part. Now, again, no details on it. I think it's more of a big vision and they may have some details in there, um, you know, I internally. And actually, I guess one of the things they talked, he did mention was the job system, which is available now and the burst compiler, sorry, not job system, the burst compiler. So um, it seems like that's kind of what's going to happen, which was always my expectation that dots would be there. It would be a side-by-side -side option for pushing the boundaries and pushing the edges. You want to do something that you just can't do without it, but that a lot of the benefits when they're, when it's possible will be taken from dots and kind of backported or squeezed in somehow onto mono behaviors. Again, I don't know how feasible it is. I have very little understanding of the underlying tech and, and how it all actually works and how you would make that happen, but my guess is that uh, it probably will. That's been my expectation. And it was really exciting to hear that he kind of thought the same thing, that you start to see a lot of these really cool performance benefits in Unity without even having to change your programming paradigm. That said, if you're looking to really push the bounds, you probably should look into Dots now that it's at the release version and it's supported. It seems like it's a good option for building games. It's definitely a slightly different way of thinking about your game development, but it's not that different. It's just, um, it's something that you, you to check out if, if you want to push the bounds, I guess. But if not, hang on and just keep getting the the new benefits from it. If you're interested in this kind of video and you want to hear more or you have questions or you got something that you think like you'd want to have answered, if you got a question for um, for John or anybody else, um, I will try to ask them. If you just drop it in a comment, if it's the most upvoted one, I'll see if I can ask that if I get a chance to have another chat with him. I did ask him one question, but two questions, but I don't want to talk about those today. I'll talk about those in another video. All right, thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video.